Hey guys, welcome back to FTB Skies episode 10. I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, I hope this episode makes your day. Anyways, guys, we continue where we left off. And today we complete the mycelial reactor, which gives us a ton of power. Let's get on to it, guys. Okay, let's go this way then. Can I see anything? All right. Oh, there you go. That's amazing. We need all that. We need the fungus. What about the loot chests? Oh my god. And also guys, there's piglins here and I think we can pick them up. Shift right click. You can pick up aggressive or busy piglins. Right. I think I just found some gold equipment. Yeah. So we should be able to pick them up now. Never word block. That's amazing. That's exactly what we needed and came for. Nice. Very nice. Wow, wow, it's very nice. Jesus guys, check out those boots. Holy moly. Alright, well, we've got some guys, some piglins. We got some never word blocks. Meow. Alright, guys, I'll see you back home. Alright, I've created some barterers. Place some piglins in, and I'm just giving them some gold ingots. The first guy already started giving us stuff. Oh, a hoglin spawn egg. Noise. Crying obsidian. Yeah, guys, very random loot. I'm not sure if we need it. Right, so, crime mycelial generator. We need an advanced frame. We can actually make that now. And then the spores recreator. We should be able to get it. Now, how does this work? Let's test this out. We'll need some energy, water, and then crimson fungus. Okay. All right, so it just takes the fungus and just doubles it. Now, how do we loop this? All right, let's make a small item. Loop. Going like a so. Yeah, that works. I guess. Well, we'll let it work for a bit. Let's see what the piglings gave us. Lace cake. Trying obsidian. I don't know, guys. Is there something we're, we should be excited about? I don't think so. Nothing truly amazing. Anyways. We should be able to make the crime material generator. We just need one fungus, one crimson fungus, fungus. Very nice, very nice. Right, let's go like a so. Export bus, yeah. And then this goes here. Crimson fungus, a few of those. So this should be provided with crimson fungus. Nice. How much is that? Six, six, nine, nine, six hundred and ninety-nine. Nice. Now we just need this guy. Huh. How do we set this guy up? Let me think about that. So we've got this connected here, the water. And this guy is producing crimson fungus, but it seems to be keeping up. And it's producing the crimson fungus we need to keep this operating, which is amazing. Oh no, our pink mycelial generator has failed us. Because these guys, the hostile mobs, yeah, they don't produce much. So I guess we need to build a second mob farm. Let's do that. All right, so what I'm thinking is have the mob masher here and we have the item collector going into our amazing ender chest progress report. We've got this side almost finished, which is the golden egg side or the passive mob side. All right, so we should have passive mobs, hostile mobs, everybody's being killed and everybody's producing what needs to be produced. The pink slime is not working. Why? Why not? Hmm. Let's cancel that. Yeah, that should fix it. That should fix it. Alright. Perfection. Alright guys, next one. Explosive. Should be able to make it. That's one more. Alright, export bus right here. And then crafting card and three of those. T and T. Can you actually do that? You can't? Of course you can't. I think we need to write this with the pattern. Let's see how much sand we have. Not too much. We'll fix it. And... Alright, I think this should do it. Oh my god! I almost broke myself. Jesus. Can we make it stop? Hmm. Explosion. Can we get a sound muffler? This guy, soundproofing. I know we have some. There you go. I knew we made them in the past. All right, let's place it here. Oh. 
that's much better. Right. So, sand. How do we make sand? We'll need a material generator. Alright. Pedestal. And 40 speed upgrade, material generator, and that... No? Wait, what? Sand, there you go. Chisel sandstone, of course. This should work now. Okay, we're getting some sand going up quite fast. And then we just link that to our system. And now we will be making... Oh my god, TNT. Perfection. All right, guys, next one. Disenchantment mycelial generator. Right, this should be it. Very nice. And then what we're gonna do is actually place a guy, librarian and electron. And then we're gonna do this thing right here. We'll repro five books for emeralds. Let's place the disenchantment mycelial generator. And I believe it goes. Yep. Oh my god. Right. Oh. Right here. Perfect. All right. Soul Reaper. And that's fantastic. It's actually... Oh, I see. So we also need an output. All right. Let's filter that with books. Very nice. We can remove that from the list. All right. Next one is Potion Mycelial Generator. Potions, potions, potions. All right. We want to make potions of strength and leaping. Let's do that. We can go with the brewing stand, but I think I'm going to go with a potion brewer. All right, guys. So we got export bus with blaze powder, export bus with blaze powder, and this, the blaze input set to pull. Now I disabled the brewing one because it was going here. All right. Let's see. Jesus, it needs... Oh, it can import water and bottles. Nice. Huh. Hold on a sec. Right, guys. So apparently, I guess we don't need to make water bottles. We just need glass bottles because it's going in from here and then water from the sink. Right, guys. So apparently, I didn't know that the potion brewer is working like a so. We don't need no automatic crafting of water bottles. And yeah, if you just go with the things you need, it will just make the potion you need. So first it will make the water bottles. Then using the wild and horn, it will make the potion of strength. Then using the redstone, it will use the redstone and make the potion of strength with the strength lasting eight minutes. And if you set the import bus to the potion with the eight minutes, that's the only thing that is it's going to accept in the system now. All right, guys, and then I'm going to make a custom recipe for the potion of strength, like a soul. Yeah, and then I'm going here. Perfection. All right, we should be able to make it. Let's place it right here. Oh, my God. Right here. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, no, not there. Like a soul should work. All right. That's fantastic. All right, guys, so now we only have two left, but we need a spring machine frame, which needs ether gas, which is made by collecting the gas of the weaver. Now we haven't spawned the weaver yet. Let's do that. By the way, we haven't checked how are we doing. Oh, plus 1000, 135 per tick. That's amazing. So to get wither skeleton skulls, we're going to the nether. I've got everything I need with me, I believe. Let's go. We will go like a so. Right guys, and that's basically it. We've got the fans going with some levers. We've got the mob masher spinning. We've got an item, an absorption hopper, I'm sorry, going into our ender chest. Also, I am going to open up the mob and claim the chunks and load them. Of course, load them. Then I'm going to place a rotten egg right here and close this up like so. Now this should make with your skeletons. I think. No? Hmm. Nope. It does. Why is he stuck though? I extended the farm. It's going okay. It's going okay. We are getting some Wither Skeleton Skulls, but not too many. Now because I've slayed some while building the farm, I got this achievement, kill five Wither Skeleton, and I've got a Wither Skeleton data model. And I just want to check out this thing. The simulation chamber. All right. First thing, we'll need a deep learner. Deep learner. <laughs> simulation chamber. 
We'll need those prediction matrices. Right, let's see. I've never used this before. I guess it needs energy. Basic data collected. Ah, see. What is this? Oh, okay. So I need to kill him. Well, let's do that. Right, guys. Let's patch up the farm. I'm not sure if we're going to need it anymore. Because I've got what I came for. We've got the Weaver Skeleton Data Motor. Dire self-aware. Missing prediction matrix. Okay, so we need these things. Right. And then we need the loot fabricator. I want this. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Right, guys, so this thing is going well. But what if we craft some tempered dark glass? which can withstand Weaver Blasts. And then we can get some Soul Soil. We then enchant a Material Generator to level 4 speed. Set up an easy Soul Sand generation with pedestals. Oh my god. Let's get four of that. And three Weaver Skeleton Skulls. And then we will need the model framework. Now let's see. The first thing I want to do is go into this cage and get... The first wither spawned. Very nice. Now, most probably this ethereal glass will break. It doesn't matter. Let's see. All right. There. Oh, it didn't break. Noise. Oh, we've got a wither data model. Now, let's kill the wither. We'll need at least one kill. That should be easy. And we should not die. Hopefully. Very nice. Easy. And our first never star. Amazing. Hmm, it didn't collect heal. Maybe it needs to be in the deep learner. Let's try that out. Um, let's actually make six of them. It should be relevantly easy. Right, guys, so this one is the, the sixth one. Oh, wait, what? How did that happen? Somebody died. Uh, never mind. Anyways, we've got what we need. We've got a basic wafer data model now let's see if we just place it here let's get that okay perfection now does it gain data when it does a simulation oh no it failed it does well that's fantastic let's actually speed this up we've got six hours times 256 oh my god Let's see, it's advanced now. Output buffers are occupied. Wait, what? How about that? Right. Oh, we need to be on watch. Oh, ho, ho. it's going up like crazy. How many hours do we have? Four more hours. We can do it again. Let's get this up to master level or whatever that was. Nice, we're getting never stars, guys. Superior, nice. We need 900 kills. Jeez. That's a lot, guys. Well, let's keep on doing it. I want to get it to the next level, guys. How many hours do we have left? Two hours. That's our final 256 speed, speed, speed up. I think it is. I think it is the final, guys. Let me speed this up. Yep, that's the final one. We're halfway there, guys. Halfway. I don't think we're going to make it. Yeah, we won't make it to 900. But that's okay, guys. Eventually, we will make it. Did we lose a lot of power? We did, actually. About... Yeah, that was 1.6. But that way we're getting never stars, which is absolutely fantastic. And we don't even need the Wither Skeleton model, I believe. Right, we need that. But first we need Edregas. Let's get that. Right, guys, before we proceed further, I made an Infinity Wand. Of course. Of course. And then... Yeah, we definitely need what that. The Infinity Range Booster. Very nice. Where is that? Where is that thingy? Oh, 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 that is absolutely fantastic, guys. That is absolutely fantastic. We can go anywhere now. Nice. Nice. All right, guys. Next thing. Ether gas. To get ether gas, we'll need a stasis chamber. Then we'll need a fluid laser base. And we can go with one laser drill, but I can make four. Like so. Amazing, fantastic. And then purple lenses. Purple dye. How do we get that? Right. Botania to the rescue. Mystical purple flower. That's amazing. Purple. Perfect. Now we need the lens. And lens and lens. How do we make a lens? Oh, that's easy. Perfection. 
Very nice. Whoops. Went back to the system. All right. And then I think we should summon the wither. Place a stasis chamber underneath it. Just so it stops being annoying. Should be working now. All right. And this guy is... Uh, we cannot move. We cannot move. No. Come on. We can try it. We did it right. And then right on top of his head, we can place fluid laser base with purple lens. And then we need some laser drills, which will go like so, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And of course, provide energy. And I think it's working, guys. Wait, what? All right. Well, I placed it directly above his head and it's working. Now let's upgrade these guys as well. All right. And we've got ether gas. Nice. I place an ender tank on top. Perfect. I've set the output to push on top and the ether gas is now going into an ender tank. Let's connect that to our AE system. Like I so. saw. Let's see. There you go. We have some ether gas. Next thing, we're going to set up another dissolution chamber, like a so, and export the ether gas. Like a so, that is absolutely fantastic. Ether gas doesn't have too many recipes, so supreme machine frame, we remove the ether gas as always, and this micellar reactor, take those two inside here, and that is amazing. Now, I'm not sure if we'll need the halitosis micellar generator, guys, we'll see. Right, we need two supreme machine frames. Actually, we need four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Let's do that. And our dissolution chamber should start working. And our wither model is almost, yeah, it's done. Self-aware. Model accuracy 99.5%. Absolutely fantastic. And we got some never stars. Amazing. Amazing. All right, of course, guys, the frames are crafted, but we didn't set up an export bus. We'll do that straight away. Like I saw. Oh, we need an input bus, of course. I'm being a dumb, a dumb, dumb. Perfect. We got four of them. So, Nether Star Mycelial Generator done. Metallurgic on freaking plastic. We've got two more mycelial generators. Now let's see which ingot do we have the most. I believe copper, guys. Copper the, is the most because. Oh, osmium? Yeah, osmium. We will never use osmium, I believe. Well, maybe some at some point, but we were not using it too much. Yeah, I think we'll go with osmium. And we need to set up this system, the Never Stars, to go into a drawer. So I did move it and I set up an export bus with a crafting card. So this thing will always have prediction matrices. We got a drawer for the generalized ender prediction, and then we've got never stars. So the final two, or maybe the final two, I'm not sure if we need to build the halitosis mycelial generator. Let's see, metallurgic is this here. Oops. Actually, let's place the never star here. And right now we're making 1135 FA. Let's see what we get with the metallurgic one. And I believe we'll need a capacity card and some acceleration cards. And then osmium ingot and liquid meat. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, very nice. Now let's see how much, how many seconds, 20 seconds. Jesus, that's going to go through osmium real quick. But anyways, how much is that? That's 220 extra FE. Right, and this one, this one is going to be nether stars. Oh no, that's a wither effect. Right, that's, guess we're making, yeah, 5000 FE. It's absolutely fantastic. We can make a mycelial reactor. Now let's see, where do I place this? Do I place this here? Ah, huh. so it's not working. So I'm guessing I need the halitosis mycelial generator. Well, we can do that. All right. We can get a popped. We can get cores from generalized ender prediction. Yes, we should get uh, right here. Nice. Let's do that. Do we have any apples? No way. We don't have any apples. Uh, yeah, guys, we don't have any apples. Let's get some apples then. Right, after some tedious work, we've got nine apples. This should be enough. Yeah, we smelt that down into popped chorus fruit. Let's do that and let's smelt that. All right, these are smelted. Then we need one of those and drought. Noise. And some purpur blocks. Halitosis mycelial generator. And this should be the final one. Dragon's breath. Nice. Well, we have some dragon's breath. Let's see. That's 5,000. And if we place that and we get the dragon's breath, how much is that now? Still 5,000? Oh, it's not too much. Why is this not working? That's just 
40 FE. Hmm. Hmm. So guys, this is the one that was causing the problem, the rocket mycelial generator. And I figured, so if you're having the same issue, it's because this firework rockets will not be accepted by the rocket mycelial generator. Whereas if you do this and put two gunpowder, yeah, you get a firework rocket flight duration two. All right, guys, so I've tried crafting everything by hand the crafter didn't work from RF tools, the sequential fabricator is not working, I can't even place the gunpowder and the paper inside. The only thing left to try is the mechanical crafter from Create, so let's test this out. Great! It seems that it did work, yes, finally! Alright, so we will use that, we just need a sugarcane farm and yeah make that into paper actually can we get paper in another way so dust oh metal press noise we might use that there's nothing else let's actually use that but we will need a sugarcane farm all right guys so we've got the setup that we talked about going into a drawer now this is connected to our ME system but i don't think this will work hold on a sec rocket let's craft one it will work or it should work. Hmm, I see. So it doesn't go to the next one. Ah, unless, unless. Hold on a sec. We do this. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. All right, we go like this. Yes, yes, that does work. Where are the results going? All right, well, that's not going to work. Let me fix that. All right, let's see if this setup works. It should work. What is going on? Where is it going? Oh, it's being extracted. So it has been going. Hold on a sec. Let's make a hundred, of course. Uh, paper. Paper. Set up the paper. We should be able to set up the paper here. Yes. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, we've got the recipe and this goes here. And now let's make a few rockets. Let's make a hundred. All right. Seems that it's working. Oh, it doesn't. But if we set this... This. Do not push crafting ingredients if inventory contains a pattern input. Right. We're going to sit here until this is finished because it will never be finished because it effed up a bit. Right. So now that this thing is set to blocking mode, do not push crafting ingredients if inventory contains a pattern input. This will only make one rocket. Oh no! My atomic disassembler! Okay, we can get a new one for just one emerald, which is amazing. So. Now that this is done, the rockets can now place a crafting upgrade right here in the Emmy export bus, a crafting card. And I think that's all of them done, guys. They're all up to max items. Very nice. And now, if you remember, we were generating like 5k FE. But if we connect the ultimate universal cables, we should be getting a lot, a lot of power. Let me just do that. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be quite bad. Oh, please let me do it. How much power is that? How much power is that? Us? Wait, what? Wait, what? That should be generating much more power. What the hell is this? Wait, is that 800,000 FE per tick? Jesus, that's a lot. Unfreaking believable. This is amazing, guys. This is amazing. Why is this input so, so slow? Maybe we need to do that. Yeah. Oh my god. Where's this thing coming from? 25 million per second. Holy poop. 25 million per second. Well, guys, I guess that's it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope to see you in the next one. In the meantime, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button. That would be truly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.